<laughs> Whoa. What have I got myself into here? It's a realistic YouTube channel. There's no airs and graces here. I'm showing you a realistic repair to keep a van on the road for another year. Right, so we have this van in for welding. Hello. There is no sill left what so ever on the inside it looks like it's had some expanding foam in there not bad the back end is all pretty good this sill isn't that bad till it gets to here and that's gone rubbish but i've had a right knock around this morning i wasn't going to film this there's only me here today because it's Louis's birthday and Louis thought he'd have a day off and the jacking point there but I mean, the, the main part of the chassis is solid. It's just an old van. But if we can get it back on the road for a bit more, it'll be all right. It's had some welding here before. That's questionable whether that's actually welded to anything. There's not a lot of this front of the sill bit here. So I need to have a good look into it. So I'll have a grind back and a clean up and I'll see how bad this is going to be. Because the outside of the sill just looks like it's had filler shoved in it. So should we get a screwdriver and have a pork? Mmm, handy. Full sill thing all the way along. Hopefully, got something to weld to at the top here. Wheels off, mud flaps off. And then let's have a go. At the end of the day, vans are a fortune to buy at the moment. So, if we can weld it up to get it to go again, I don't think it'd be too bad. See, that's all all right. It's a, it's a workhorse van, isn't it? <laughs> what have I got myself in for? What have I got myself into? I mean, there's no pressure. I'm not brain. Brain, that's it. That is rotten. Wow, there. What have I got myself into it? It's like cheese. One thing I am very surprised about is I just put that in there to undo these mud flaps. And that is unturned. What the actual hell? I guarantee that one's not. Let's try it. Go away. Go away. Is that actually unwinding? No way. No way, Jose. Could do with Lewis here today to help me film, but Lewis is swanning it off, as I've said, on his birthday. Right, nice. What is this? What is this? What is it? Where's my poking device? No. We've got the radio on as well. I have to talk loud. You won't think that we're nearly 20,000 subscribers. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Right, so the back panel for now is tacked in place. So I'm gonna go along to the back, buzzing it all the way along there. And then that's the back panel. Now this is where the sill will meet up. So you wanna make sure we've brought this lower down. So we need to, obviously wherever the sill will meet up, like where it falls over there, and it falls down to there, we will need to trim this back to suit. And hopefully I've not got it too short. And then this piece here, this will all clean up. It's really good behind. And then this will be a flat plate folded down to meet up and then we'll start chopping all this off because we need this off because this is a fire starter. So we've got that one in place, buzz all around 
and then we'll check back in the next bit. So I've had a look on the internet, see if we could get some sills that are sort of similar, that we can sort of piece in and fall down. But can I find nothing? No. And have I got any long lengths of steel? No. So I might have to go to John's, maybe. So I have just been on the phone to John and John is not at the workshop. So my folder is only that wide. So unfortunately, I am going to have to do the sills in sections. First, at the end of the day, it's just literally, I'm going to overlap it and buzz down. As long as it's really sound, it's a, it's a nice looking van anyway. So we'll get this section in and I'll work all along, all the way along to the door and then we can piece the piece in behind there and then we can get the end cap sorted out. So yeah, that is what we're moving on to right now in sections, which is a bummer, but there we go. So we have a rough shape of the sill and this is what I was on about this lower thing, but obviously I would have used a spot well, but you now need to have it all seam welded. So I'm gonna just use this to seam weld and then we'll level this up so I can just run across. So I'll tack all the way along here. I'm just gonna tack it all till I've got it all built up. Tack along the bottom and then we're gonna manipulate the top, to meet up with the top, tack that down, make another one of them. Probably gonna need another two for that and then move on to the front part. I thought I'd start on this end, so I've got the rough shape, you know. At the end of the day, it's just a repair to get the van back on the road, but it's just showing you what you can do with basic tools and a little folder. I mean, you could get two pieces of angle in a vice and do that, but there we go. I always like saying, but there we go. I think, I, I think I'm just winging this one as I go along, but we've got to make it structurally strong. Hmm, nice van. So what I did is I folded the second one and that took no time to fold at all to get the shape, but I put more of a prominent curve in there. So I've whipped that one off because I'm going to change the shape because that took seconds to do and it's easier to do on the folder so I'm going to put that back in put that line back in and get these sort of the same shape but that there will be so much easier to run down the panel I know it changes the shape here it just meets up lovely this is so hard I wish Lewis was here today just loads easier to do so then also we'll continue the shape through the front bit so that's what I'm doing now basically I just turned it upside down in the folder put that into the folder that's the actual bracket in the folder which is that bit so the first 90 I put back in there and put to that side and then manipulate it back hand to get that shape that literally took seconds so that'll be loads easier so i'm going to put that one in there now put that shape in and then they should be near enough the same yeah so much easier to do so they're pretty much bob on the same so let's get these one on and then i'll use that one again to copy the shape before i put that one on lovely jubbly lovely jubbly we're getting somewhere mind you this is only day one and i never started while a bit lit, little bit late oh that's gonna be so much easier nice like i always bang on about right that this is a realistic channel so i'm gonna show you the issues that we have you know and this is a day-to-day -day life of what we do i'd love to be on with all the big projects that we've got namely the xrtt if we get 200 000 subscribers i might be able to um only work a couple of days a week and then spend most of the time on that i don't know or i might be able to go full time who knows who knows who knows and then we can build some wacky projects i'm really happy with this anyway the rotten van but at the end of the day how much does it cost to buy a new van now and mechanically sound it is a bottom arm and a um top ball joint or in the other way around can't remember and i'm hoping if i can get this sill done today and cut back on some other bits i'll be happy and i hope this radio doesn't get in the background Right, so we're getting it tacked all in place now and you cannot seam weld this, right? If anyone says they can seam weld this up from starting from one edge to the other with a welder is talking absolute garbage. Now, those that have watched the channel for years will know what I'm on about because I explain this all the time. But for those that don't, you start welding from this edge and you start welding constantly all the way down there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get a heat exchange and the heat exchange is gonna cause a panel to ripple and distort. That is proper nightmare if that happens. Just don't even attempt to do it. When you're going onto heavier steel at the bottom, you can go a little bit further. But basically what I'm going to do now is lots of spot welds. Keep getting it all in line, getting it tight up to this panel at the top here. 
all along. Space them out, let it cool, go closer, all the way around, constantly doing that all the way around. So you don't get heat traveling through and causing the panels to distort. Along the bottom, we would normally do puddle welds, but it's not in the MOT status now. It needs to be fully seam welded. So it will be all welded along there. Then we'll grind that back and then we'll cut this nice and level when it's on the deck. I think I've got it all level. These two panels are pretty good. That one's obviously a trialing panel, but still they're gonna look very good. And when it's stone chipped up, we're gonna come into there with some black stone chip. It'll be fine and it'll serve the purpose and it'll keep the van on the road. I reckon with all these repairs, the van isn't gonna need anything for the next two years. Fingers crossed, because we're getting all the rot shopped out and replacing it with new. So I will get back on with the time lapse so you can watch what I mean with the spot welding, because this takes time. If you wanna do it right, you've got to take your time. So I say, well, can't put this bit in my folder, it is too big and it can't go in the other way. I did think I got it, but I was gonna fold it the wrong way, so I've just clamped it to a piece of angle, steel angle, clamped it like that, I'm just gonna break it down with a hammer and then that, that'll have to do. So what you can see now is all the spot welds as neatly and lined up as I can get are all now joined up. So that's when we work now to the scuffing off. Now you don't work on an angle, you only work on the bit that you welded. So leave that part of the weld or you make the panel too thin. Where is the grinder? With this soft pad on from Clingspar, you will just grind that edge, not into a deep. Like this one, because I've butted them up, you just run it on the top till they're both out. So like that, run that across but same thing again this generates loads of heat so at the end of the day you just work your way along slowly let it cool and then until you've got it to a happy stage and then all we'll do is a very small skimmer filler along there and just down on these bits and this when we've got it on the deck we'll level it up cut it and then finish off grinding them back just got to work along finish off this bit and i've got one patch to do behind there this i'm trying to get plenty on because we can open the door and we'll roll this round the edge of the door and she'll look wicked
it is day two. I did start grinding last night. Wish I'd got this folded better, but this was the, the first mock-up one, but I'll get this with just a tiny bit of filler. But the seal has come out really good all the way to the front. And I've rolled this nice here. So then I'll just have a scoop of filler in there. All we've got to do now is join this up here. So I'll just need to find some more, clean back some more steel here. This will probably clean back. It's it's all pretty solid here. So I'll get a bit made for this now, and then we'll jump on to that side. Ugh which isn't that bad because all under here this is all pretty solid so we'll jump onto that and then we'll probably have to fold two bits and we'll probably start hopefully it's nice when we grind back there and we don't find any expanding foam in here which when i've knocked around this side is free of the foam it is just nice and rotten this bit looks fairly good as well so i'll be able to grind back and just get pieced into there hopefully yeah, that's all pretty good. And then that's it. That's pretty much it. So hopefully today we'll get this done. And then Lewis has got an arm to put on that side, which has arrived down there and a ball joint. And hopefully it should be good for MOT tomorrow. And hopefully this repair work will get this old van just back going for another couple of years, which is going to be cheaper than buying another van. And I did clean the floor down yesterday because we have managed to fill a cardboard box. There was a cardboard box full of rubbish somewhere, but it's gone. I was using it for the next couple of days, but I bet Lewis has binned it. No. No. Have you binned it, Lewis? Yes. Hope the bin's, bin's crushed down. So, all right, anyway, let's get back on with it and get my overalls on. Let's get on with this one. Nice. So on this side, we have ground back there. Hopefully it'll grind back all the way. That bracket is only to protect that wire. So that bracket is going never to return again. We'll come all the way along here. And hopefully this is all good here. And we can piece in where it is nice and solid at the back here. So we can weld from the edge of the sliding door all the way down the front. And hopefully the top of the door just started grinding back here now. It'll be all right, same as the other side. So we'll get this clean right back and then we can weld into it and then roll, roll the weld out come along there and we'll weld along here and that'll get rid of all that rot yeah and then the jacking points to do so this i'm quite i'm quite considering just cutting this all the way and actually get rid of the jacking points so you never jack them up from there and then put a nice big flat plate folded up back up into there then try and rebuild all this at the end of the day so we're just going to square it off Get rid of that. See you later. Bye. That is a plan at the end of the day because I mean the rest of the floor is, is pretty solid. It's just scabby. Really, it's only the two sills and any bread made on that bloody thing there. Thank you. Oh, everything's pretty good. Oh, she's had a new mount. Oh, yeah. And we get all this sealed up all around there. Brushable sealer, seam sealer, plenty of it on.
Right, so we're on day three and I finished off last night by getting this panel in. This side, I've tried to follow in keeping. I know the other side is a different shape, but it does not matter for this. We're not doing restoration. We're doing this to get it through its MOT. So we now need to finish this piece off and then we need to do the cappings on both sides. I need to do that jacking point, the same as I've done with that one. I've started seam sailing up. So that's just now capped off, welded round here, round here, and pieced in with a bit in there. Um, I need to clean that back and weld up with there, and then we need to grind this back and seam seal it all the way around there. I need, to, oh, I need to finish welding along here, and I need to finish welding down there. So I've got a bit more welding to do on this side. That's all welded up from the inside. So this is all to be seamed up on that side, get it all brushed up with some brushable seam sealer, which we've got two pots of, and I think I need a brush. So we'll brush that all the way around. Then we'll get all the welding ground down on the outside. Don't ring right now, phone. Grind all down on the outside, and then a little bit of filler here and there. Level these bits up, grind that down, and seam seal along the bottom. And should be getting there, but I need to get the phone right now. So what I'm going to jump on now is I'm going to jump on grinding that back. I've let all the batteries go flat in the GoPro, so they're charging now. So this won't be on a time lapse. Lewis is having a go at putting a brushable sealer on underneath. Basically, you get that and you brush it round everything and it makes it look loads better. Basically, even though it's all quite nice under there, but it's just going to seal it all up as well and give it a nice coat on for when we go on with the um, stone chip. Give him a shave. Come here, Lewis. I'm not far off now, starting to weld. I have put a bit of filler on. Starting to weld. Starting to sand the filler that I've put on. So the filler on these. Just literally sand off with some 80 because the stone chip will cover it. And then we need to clean the van up to there and we're just going to stone chip all the way down the sides of the van. And then that's it. It's ready for test. Oh, no. No, there isn't. We found something. We did find something that we missed. So it's got a lovely... Lovely leaky shocker, and I don't know how I missed that. And he still hasn't shaved that off. Somebody mm. send him in a razor. So it's sanded back, and if you get a few little divots like this, it doesn't matter because the stone chip will cover it. So I'll just go over it now with some 180 with by hand, bringing it up to the line. That's where we're stone chipping up to. It's going to be a big, long, black stone chip line, but it doesn't matter. I've gone through the door 
and edged all the dark off in there with a brush just to give it a line because you don't need to be going in there masking up and messing around for this practicality of what we are doing but that sill now is structurally strong all welded in and it's going to have a nice appearance so that side is ready for the stone chip but the other stone chip hasn't arrived we've used i think 10 or 12 12 cans we've only got this bit to sand down but we're going to stone chip along that line all the way along the edge to give us some extra protection you know it is what it is it's a rough old van but mechanically it's sound it's sound let's put a ball joint on it a shocker and a front arm I said all that while trying to fix my bin that i've just knocked flying but there we go this is a realistic youtube channel there's no airs and graces here we're showing you a real-time repair a realistic repair to keep a van on the road for another year at the end of the day so yeah we've got to wait for the stone chip to arrive so i'll jump on and get the other side prepped and sanded now and then we can just get the sills done and need to go back up in the air because I need to do the back wheel arches and then just check around make sure I haven't missed any bits. Because it didn't help yesterday when I was out because Lewis is on holiday. They tried to deliver the other crate of stone chip and I wasn't here and I left a note on the gate saying, please pop it over the wall. But guess what? It never got put over the wall and now I'm waiting for it to arrive. And I hope it comes soon because I want to get this van done because it's taken an extra two days than what I quoted for. But... I'm standing that. What I'm doing, and hopefully you lot will like the video and you'll subscribe if you're not, and you'll drop a comment down below and it just helps the channel. So that's hopefully how I'll get some more back out of my extra time spent on this old Toyota van. Toyota van. And all the abrasive stuff that we've used today is bad things for. DA pads, slitting discs, everything that we've used. They've been a good support of the channel for a long time now, which we massively appreciate because this all helps out producing the content but i really do rate the stuff absolutely rate the stuff as i probably say in all other videos you know this helps out us massively but the quality of it i'll never use anything else again and i did run out of some slitting discs doing this job and i went and bought some because that's i know how good they are i could have bought the cheaper ones but one slitting disc to a cheaper one one cling spar slitting disc I think that they're called the edge will annihilate three cheap slitting discs to one they're unbelievable like a cheap slitting disc you might slip down a sill and be finished you'll cut all the sill out and get halfway on the other side instead of using three slitting discs i'm waffling now anyway cling spa thank you very much for being a supporter of our channel waffle waffle if you don't know me i waffle a lot right so the extra stone chip has arrived and i'm extremely happy now so you get that sorted yeah let's get these sills blabbered up looking nice straight onto that right now
So I'm literally just giving it a wash off. I've had a bit of compound on the microfiber cloth, just where I've been grinding, so it doesn't start going orangey. Yes, it's an old van, it's got rust here, there, and everywhere. But structurally, it's been welded up, ready for test. And that is a realistic repair that goes on that probably people will never show. So I've shown you, yeah? realistic repair on an old van. Not a beautiful bespoke piece of equipment. It's just something that we've got repaired so the gentleman can use it again. There we go. I'm Colin, this is Shine Automotive. If you need any welding work or any work, hit us up. There's an email and link down below. Thanks for watching, we'll see you again in the next one. And if you enjoyed this and got something from this video, consider subscribing. I am off, I'm sweating my knackers off. See you later, bye. And that's a wrap.